I'm going to go over making models look more realistic in FreeCAD and ways to uh, increase some of the graphical performance. FreeCAD has pretty good graphics already. You can see some nice shading under the, the uh, default settings. But if you want to improve that, there's a few things you can do. Currently, I have this on perspective view. Where you can see this closer edge appears to be larger than the far edge, even though they're the same dimension. That's how your eye would see things and is a little bit more uh, realistic. So if I wanted to activate that setting because it defaults to an orthographic view, we'll say view, or rather edit, preferences, and then under uh, display, you can choose orthographic or perspective, and I have perspective. So we'll say apply and okay. Next thing to do is you can change up some of the default material appearances. So if I go to the visibility, or rather I highlight uh, the uh, body that I wish to alter, Oh, and you can choose random color, as I accidentally did. <laughs> uh, but you also can say appearance, and under appearance, this is our little appearance uh, tab. Oh, and I didn't mean to make that part of my toolbar. But we can choose something shiny like chrome. And you can see as compared to the default appearance, you have a nice, deeper, more uh, textured look. And uh, if you look at the way that the light reflects off of certain surfaces, I think that uh, makes for a more shiny, metallic-looking part, which is a nice addition. Another thing you can do uh, to enhance your parts is use uh, texture mapping both on the surface of the part and the environment. One thing you can do is uh, you can choose View, Texture Mapping, and this is where you can use photo files. So I've downloaded a few photos from Bing. Um, here is a picture that I downloaded from being of a wood texture. And all I do is click these three, select wood texture, which is just that picture that I just showed you. And now the texture of the wood is being projected on the faces of the part. And the part looks like it is made out of wood. So that's another wonderful way that FreeCAD provides that uh, you can <laughs> alter the appearance of your part. And it's pretty cool technology that it works that well. Uh, another thing that you can do is change the environment of your part. So let's say I, I want to do a, a zebra stripe uh, environment. Well, I've got a picture of zebra stripes right here. All right, this little simple picture of zebra stripes. All I really have to do is choose zebra and you can see our part is outlined with zebra stripes. But if I make this part of the environment, then you can see as I move the part, you're simply having zebra stripes in the environment and these stripes are reflecting off of surfaces of the part. This almost uh, is reminiscent of the uh, zebra stripe curvature analysis that a lot of CAD programs have. You can see it, it looks very good to see all these uh, zebra stripes and reflections updating in real time. Another thing that might be handy is uh, because this is such a highly reflective uh, scene or texture that we're using, we uh, can make more of a chrome or metallic appearance. So if I choose something like TH, um, and let me show you what my TH image looks like. It's just kind of this metallic colored variance part. Since this is in the environment, it's reflecting off the environment, but only metallic colors. You can see we get a very nice, almost shiny metal looking piece. And a lot of these colors will change and reflect. And it looks quite realistic, almost like SolidWorks Real View graphics. So I'm very impressed uh, by the graphic capability that this uh, tool offers. Another thing that we can go over um, is a nice little abstract picture. You can see uh, I've got just a bunch of abstract colors and I think it actually looks really cool to map that to the environment because now everything uh, it, it just looks like one of those say anodized aluminum parts that has that rainbow texture and uh, you'll notice you can also in conjunction with the graphics that you have. I can go to View, Appearance, and we are set to Chrome. If I make this stone, you can see I get a completely different color 
uh, texture or profile and it looks quite nice so you can also alter the material appearances and get uh, say a darker profile for obsidian or perhaps a brighter profile for default so you can play with uh, the kind of material that you have as well and it even looks good if you just map it to the texture of the part rather than make it into the environment so keep that in mind and those are just a few strategies on making your parts uh, look realistic or increasing the graphical performance of uh, your part in FreeCAD. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.